Hello, business partners. So let's talk about something that I think is a phenomenon that just came to my attention regarding once you are monetized and you are making money, of course, you are seeing the ads that are playing on your videos and uh, people are watching your videos, but somewhere, somehow your money is not growing. It is stuck for weeks at the same amount that you have made last last week. So YouTube has a tendency of also sending us like a report. Uh, it's more like a recap of how you made, how much you made last week, how many views that you got last week, hours, and who was watching, and where they found your videos, whether on search, uh, browse feature, and things of that nature. So you will see that this week I made so much dollars or so many rands. Now, I have a creator who came and said, hey, Clancy, I'm struggling here to understand my ad revenue. My ad revenue has been stuck on the same amount for the past X number of days. So, of course, every 48 hours or at least every day with some YouTubers, you should see how much today you have accumulated. With me, I see it every 11 p.m., sometime 11.30 p.m., Sometimes midnight, I would see how much I made that particular day. Other people will see that the following day. Others will see it for the eight hours. So she was like, you know what? Two days ago, I was at this amount. And today, which is the third day, I'm still at the same amount. What is going on? What have I done wrong? Is there some kind of discrepancy or a glitch in the system? And I came up with different scenarios because on her vlogs, sometimes she would feature her little boy. And one of the things that I know that YouTube is clamping down on is videos that have children. Anyways, there is a YouTube policy called COPPA where children are not allowed to be featured uh, on YouTube videos that are 13 and below. So if you're going to have your child on your video, they must be 14 and above not 13 and below so i was like maybe that's the reason why they're withholding some of your adsense because you do feature your child uh now and again on your vlogs and this is something i've spoken about many a times before as well to content creators who are parents that do everything in your power to make sure that you do not show the face of your child even the voice of your child, they don't do it. In fact, there must not be anything that suggests or is attractive. Let's say a parent is sitting in the bedroom watching YouTube. Remember, kids are not allowed to watch this uh, ordin uh, original, is it quite ordinary or regular YouTube because they have their own YouTube uh, platform. And so if a child is in the house and suddenly hears a child in the voice, I mean, in the video, that will attract the child that is less than uh, 14 years old, I mean, 13 and, and, and below. And so that already is in violation of uh, that policy. And I'm talking about this because I know even myself, I did speak about something of this nature before and my video was flagged. So of course, this one is also going to get flagged. Uh, because I'm speaking about that policy and I'm mentioning the word kids in it. So I thought maybe that's the reason. And so I was like, you know what? I'm also going to do more digging to find out what exactly seems to be the problem. And I believe I found the problem and possibly the solution as well. So as you know, if you go into your YouTube studio right now, so this will be the interface of your YouTube studio, right? And then when you click where it says the views, right? Where it says views, uh, it will, then you will go down, you scroll down to real, is it what? Uh, real time. So real time views. And you will see this graph down here. You see this graph down here. So this graph down here, it moves, right? Every single, uh, I think every five minutes it moves. So as it moves, it, you also lose the watch time that you have uh, accumulated. Because if you go next to the views, this is the views that you will see in your YouTube studio. And then you, if you scroll this way, you will see the amount of watch time you have accumulated, right? Same goes with those that are monetized. The same uh, 
interface you see so even with this it drops if your youtube videos that you have uh, uploaded are not accumulating the amount of views to keep your watch time growing remember in order for you to get paid on youtube you get paid by watch time when people view your videos and you accumulate watch time youtube then rewards you with a payment through that watch time so you can have like a hundred thousand people watching your video oh, at least you think a hundred people watched your videos only to find that people started dropping out at the first minute of your 10 minute video so what's the watch time watch time there there's not much of a watch time that will pay you significant because you're looking at your views and you're thinking oh my goodness i'm gonna get paid pretty much a lot of money when in fact you are not going to get paid a lot of money why because people dropped out early very early out of your uh, videos so what does this mean this means that as a content creator yourself you got to go and evaluate your content look in your youtube studio if you go particularly under videos go to content and then go under videos and then basically study what is happening with your youtube videos so the important one that you'll have to go to one of the important one is your key moments right here your key moments will show you uh how many people are dropping off after 30 seconds of your youtube video and then you go to so what you do is click on individual videos under key moments so for example this video right here for me which is 10 small business ideas it's a key moment here is 80 percent i need to check i'll click on the video i'll click on the video to see what exactly made this video perform as you can see the graph right there in pink i have to check what exactly is it that people are enjoying about this video and this is what you need to do you can click on the video right there and once you click anywhere where the graph is you look at the video and then play that part of the video and see why did people watch a 56 percent of the audience retention on this particular video so if your watch time is dropping of course you are not going to be making the amount of money you think you are making even though your sub your view account is showing that a significant amount a number of people were watching your vlog or your video now check how is it that you have such a high number of views but you are not getting paid or why your money is stuck the way it is it's watch time you are losing watch time because your audience are not watching your videos from the beginning to the end so it's your job now to ensure that you capture your audience from the beginning of your video to the end of your video so that you do not find yourself struggling with uh payments where you are losing maybe five cents or 20 cents or a dollar or even more than that simply because your real time views are also depleting every five minutes as well as your watch time going along with that uh real time views and as a result of that you are either losing money or you are staying in the same position so what does this mean as well it means that you need to start thinking around how you are going to uh, increase the watch time so there's a, a content creator i mean i've mentioned this before joey zamini joey zamini and learn uh, and learn with joey she was doing vlogs um once a week and then she was looking for another way of how she can uh maximize or optimize her earnings and i said well have another segment in your videos and so that's when she came up with the uh christian uh segment of her vlog which she does on a tuesday every tuesday she does a video maybe that's also another way of for you to come up with something else outside of your vlog or it's still part of your vlog but it stands on its own as a content and you do it sometime during the week not at the same time as when your vlog drops so with joey zamini she drops her um her vlogs on a thursday i believe and then on tuesday she will have uh what you will call a um the the christian segment of a youtube channel i also do the same thing i have main a main video that comes out around five six or seven depending on how the wi-fi behaves 
And then out of that video, I abstract the comment section. I call it the self-appointed expert comments. And I read the comments on the video. And uh, why do I do that? So that if that video, the main video, failed to accumulate me the watch time, at least the self-appointed expert video will then boost the views that the first video failed to, uh, what do you call this, to occur. At the same time, it's holding up the views of other videos that are, are posted the previous days so that I don't lose any watch time and therefore my earnings as well go down. I'm, I hope I'm making sense with this one. I know it's something that I also just realized. In fact, when I was looking into it, I was like, what is it that is going on here? And it, a light bulb moment is like, no, it is watch time that is doing that. So if you can do the same thing, think of a, an idea that is going to assist the vlog to push the views. If the vlog failed to, uh, to accumulate you the views and the money that you desire to make, then create a different video on a different topic. So that when you upload, it boosts the views of the vlog as well as other vlogs that you may have uh, posted previously. And then you have a whole new view that is now going to build you the uh, revenue that you've been losing. Or at least, yeah, in fact, just grow the revenue instead of just holding it the way it is. So it has everything to do with views. And that is why you are stuck where you are stuck with your earnings so you need to come up with an idea you need to be strategic either you're strategic with your vlogs or the videos that you are posting uh, that would keep the audience watching throughout the vlog or the video or you create something else uh, as a supplementary video that is no longer than 15 minutes long but it must be a catchy topic catchy idea that everybody resonates with that will keep them moving. Like with Joey, she does Christian uh, topics where she talks about her personal relationship with God and all that stuff. Find something else that you feel, okay, this is going to boost my, my views, therefore increasing my earnings. So I hope this makes a lot of sense as to why you are not making the money you ought to be making considering the views that you are seeing. Sometimes the views will be high, but people are not watching through and through the video. They're dropping out early. But of course, when a person clicks on your thumbnail, that's already counted as a view. So how long they stay is a different ball game altogether. And it is your responsibility as a content creator to keep your audience watching for a long period of time. So you need to be a little bit creative. Your videos will tell you when you go under content and then you go under, uh, what do you call this, key moments. Study each one of your videos. Where the graph begins to drop, click on where it begins to drop. Click on that and see why people dropped so that you don't repeat that the next time. I can tell you in most cases, people don't like intros. I know people love their intros. I get it, guys. I get it. And I see it's difficult to get rid of the, the intros. These days, people just don't care about intros at all. Maybe, let's see if you don't put an intro for the, let's say the rest of May. Let's see what happens to your earnings. Let's start there. Uh, let's see if you remove your intro, what happens? And uh, maybe something else that you do in your video, check what other stuff that you think people might not like that you do, uh, remove that and see throughout the month of November without that, how you're going to perform. That includes keeping people watching longer as well as your ad revenue as a, as a result of that. Uh, because now we need to experiment and find out the real issue. Maybe I got this one wrong, but I think I'm on the money on with this one. It has something to do with watch time and that watch time comes from maybe the fact that people are dropping out, dropping off early on your videos. They don't watch the whole vlog or they don't watch the whole video. So let's check it out. Let's see how it all goes.